what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this video i will be sharing with you how you can become a database administrator so let's not waste any time and jump right into this video so the primary role of a database administrator is the one perform backups two perform recovery three perform maintenance and tuning and four ensure database is always secure and available as part of your role as a database administrator you'll also be required to migrate databases from one server to another and sometimes migrate from on-premise to cloud or vice versa and a lot of times you will be working on projects within the organization so for example if the organization is taking on a new project to implement a new software and it uses a database server you will be a part of that project and then you will be responsible for maybe installing the application depending on what is required and also you'll be responsible for configuring the databases another thing that you'll do as a database administrator is that you're going to always from time to time apply code changes so what do I mean by this? For example, you have a store procedure in your database that gets the customer's first name, right? And for some reason, the end users of a report may need to have the last name returned. Then you'll need to modify the store procedure to include the last name. That's as simple as I can put it. Now the standard basic requirement for you to become a database administrator is that you're going to need a bachelor's degree in information technology computer science or any other related information technology field so it could be a master's or postgraduate certificate in information technology now an alternative way of becoming a database administrator is through certifications right so you can complete a microsoft certification or oracle seal certification or an IBM certification and if you don't have any money to do certifications right away you can always utilize free platforms like edX which have some really good free courses and you can also capitalize on LinkedIn certifications as well they are just as good as some of the paid ones out there now if you're just leaving college I highly recommend that you do some form of certification to get some good understanding of what databases are because unlike programming you can't really jump from college and then become a database administrator it is a little bit different from programming because throughout your courses in university or college you won't get the necessary exposure to become a database administrator when compared to a programmer so it's so I, I recommend that you do certifications whether it be free or paid and doing these will give you a lot of knowledge personally i think certifications are better than the actual degree that's just my opinion though now a very important thing that you need to know about the ad database administrator role is that it's a very risky job don't take it lightly because one simple mistake can affect thousands of customers and can be very costly to the organization so you have to pay keen attention to details measure twice cut once measure even four or five times before you do the cutting you have to have very good practical troubleshooting and analytical skills because a lot of times problem will arise and you are going to be required to solve them so you have to be able to think through problems and be calm while you are doing it you can't be panicking while you're doing this type of job Now, one thing about this role as a database administrator is that you're going to be required to have at least one year worth of working experience. Now, you just leave college, where are you going to get that from? Well, one of the best way I believe an individual can get into the administ database administrator role is through an entry level role like a service desk technician or service desk support, something related to those fields or even business intelligence you'll see junior roles for those and then once you're in the organization you can always then express your interest in the position of database administrator but then you still have to learn of the skills ahead of time and be prepared for the opportunity now a great way to gain some practical experience is actually setting up the servers on your laptop doing the work 
destroying some databases, trying to try to recover them. Utilize cloud platforms like Amazon Free Web Tears. I've done a little bit of tutorial on that so far, so you can capitalize on the free services that are available to you and make the best of them. This is how you develop your experience while you don't have a job. Now, how much you can earn as a database administrator really varies from country to country. The typical salary in the United States is about $92,000 per year and it can go as high as $183,000 per year with a low of say $33,000 per year. So once you get the experience, it's pretty much a six figure job for you. So that's it for now guys. I hope I covered everything and if I have missed something, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I am looking forward to hearing your feedbacks. Again, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.